Consumer debt is feared to be the next explosion that brings down the economy. And to avoid that, President Obama has been cracking down on what he calls predatory lending practices. Tim Wilkins from FreedomDebt.com stopped by with some tips on what you should watch out for so that you don't become a victim. All right, good to see you back here again, Tim. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Andra. Now, today we're talking about the tricks of the, the credit trade. And a lot of people don't realize the things that are being done to keep them in debt. Um, so if you are in debt, you find yourself in trouble, what are the things that you can actually do to try to get yourself out of that situation? Are there really tricks? There are tricks, and the credit card companies have been using them. The Fed has actually called what they do unfair and deceptive. Right. And now you know this administration is cracking down on them left and right. Right. One of the things they've done for a lot of people is loose credit standards to give people credit cards maybe they shouldn't have and teaser rates. That's not good. Yeah, they lure you in with 0% for yeah. six months or 4.9 balance transfers, and they really make it easy for you to get yourself in debt. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, though, you go from a small balance and a small rate to a high balance and a high rate, and the spiral really starts. And that's where a lot of people get in trouble. We were just talking about that, too. If you're not really careful and really looking at those statements every single month, it can double within a matter of a couple of months. Your interest rate can double, and you don't even know it. And any, actually, they've been doing that lately. The legislation goes into effect May of 2010, I believe it is, mm -hmm. and they're going to try and make all the money they can between now and then. So they're raising okay. rates all over as part of what they call a risk assessment. And they're also lowering your credit limit. And you yeah. don't know it, you're over, and now you've got over-limit fees, you've got overdraft fees, and they're really trying to make all the money they can before it's too late. All at our expense. Okay, so there's a couple of tips that you give us for things that we should be looking for. The first one is that we should shop rates. So what's the best way to go about doing that? Well, start with your existing cards. Start with calling the companies that have your credit now and saying, what's the best rate you can give me? And like you said, be checking your statement every month because mm -hmm. that's where they can sneak it in for you, and you don't know how many months they've been doing it. And also, watch out for the balance transfers. You say that they they might have transfer fees as high as 3%. Some will that? be 0%, which is nice. Some will yeah. just have a $50 or $25 fee, but some can be three, up to 3% of your total transfer. Okay, so you have to really realize, is it worth doing all that for 3%? Absolutely. Okay. And then make sure mm -hmm. that once you transfer things over, that you destroy those cards. Don't necessarily close those accounts. Just cut them up? Get just rid of them? cut them up. Don't put them on okay. ice because ice melts. <laughs> Get them away from yourself right. so that you can't. That's where a lot of the folks that are coming to us with problems have gotten into trouble. That's when you got to call someone like freedomdebt.com, the industry leader, one of the industry leaders that really right now in a market that's just exploding, people are taking right. advantage. That's another thing. People are trying to get out of these problems through debt settlement, which is what we do, and a beautiful way to help yourself gain financial freedom. But people are opportunists in every market, and they're yeah. just taking them down. If you look at these examples of how we've helped people, we've lowered what they actually owe. And we've gone to the credit card companies. This example, they owed almost $14,000. We reduced that to right around $4,000, which is really a bright light for someone struggling. We reduced their principal balance to give them the opportunity to be debt free. People turn into a whole other person when the debt is lifted, you know? It makes you feel completely different. Too, I mean, you so. can start inv investing in your now and in your future, which yeah. many people don't have the luxury of doing right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Well, so good to see you. Thanks again, Tim. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you.